Thanks for joining us at iDub. My name is Tyson, and today we're going over the Easton S3 glove. Uh, this glove is extremely similar to the S5. Um, really, the difference between the two gloves is going to be this exterior. Uh, the S3 uses a nylon exterior, as you can see. Uh, this is my personal choice for glove exteriors. Um, it's basically a lighter material as well as more durable and breathable, so it cuts that drying time down. Um, they've done a good job at using um, a same density foam throughout the glove. It's a mid-density, but it still offers you a solid protection on it, as well as you know giving you a nice fit, not having an overly uncomfortable feel or anything to it. Um, going on from there, you have the as a, it's a pro lock thumb. Um, what they're doing is they're really trying to put it in a natural position of the body to add more comfort. And this really does have a nice uh, feel to it. However, um, you know, it's not that drastically different from other gloves on the market as far as that thumb position. Um, checking out the palm, they use a traditional Nash leather. As you can see, the beige is the first layer. And this black region right here is where it has an, another overlay, which actually makes it a little more durable while still having that nice traditional feel of the Nash leather. Um, they've also used these mesh gussets here, which are pretty nice. Um, I, I personally like the Lycra a little bit better, but this does a good job at allowing more ventilation in the fingers and keeping that temperature down a little bit. Um, going on to the inside, uh, Eason is actually using a standard nylon liner. Um, like most gloves, you know, you can still pull this guy out if you want to, um, you know, for drying or whether you want to remove it when you're playing. And taking a look at the overall fit and design of the glove, as you can see, it kind of cuts in here a little bit, giving a slightly contoured design. And as you move inside it, you really can feel that contoured design. It cuts some of the negative space away in this region, which while still opening up in the cuff to allow that wrist mobility. Um, I wouldn't say that the contoured, it's contoured as much as the Bauer Supreme series. It's kind of in between the, a tapered and a contoured fitting glove. But another thing that also Easton has done here is you can see the flex cuff, which they actually segment this little piece coming up here with one piece right there, allowing it for a flex forward. Um, I think it's a good concept. However, I don't think it really adds too much to the glove as far as you know, you're not flexing that much in that region. So no negative impact, but really not that huge positive impact either. But still, a solid recreation intermediate glove. This is the Easton S3 here at Inline Ice Warehouse.